Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you want to learn how to make this really fun sort of rainbow ribbon friendship bracelet, which I'm assuming you want to because you clicked on this video, <laughs> then go ahead and keep on watching. This pattern is so incredibly easy to make, and while this video may look kind of long and intimidating, I can assure you it's very repetitive and very easy. So for this bracelet, you are going to need six black strands or whatever color you want your sort of background strand to be. And then you will need six different colors and you will need one string of each color. So I am opting for a sort of pastel-ish rainbow palette today. I just think rainbow strings are so much more easy to follow along to when learning a pattern for the first time. But obviously feel free to use whatever colors you want. A gradient I think would look really cool as well for this pattern. And as far as measuring goes, you'll be using a lot less of your background strand compared to your colors. But if you want to measure them all the same, just to make it easier, I measure around 35 inches for a six inch to six and a half inch bracelet. And that has always worked perfectly for me, but feel free to measure your strings longer or shorter, depending on what size you need. So you might notice on this bracelet, I've already started that this pattern would be perfect for a diagonal shape start if that is a start that you would like to do. You can also go for a like triangle end kind of thing where you start in the middle and it comes out. But with how we're working on the bracelet, this diagonal is going to be perfect. And if you need to learn how to make a diagonal shape start, I will put a video in the top right corner for you to follow along to, and you can see the string order and prepare accordingly for that. But also a start of any kind is completely optional. You can just have an overhand knot at the top and just work on the bracelet. That is completely up to you. For your string order from right to left, you're gonna order your strings one, two, three, four, five, six, which is all of your colors, and then you'll have six of your background strand. And this pattern is so simple. I will show you the full set just so you can watch the video from the beginning again if you need to by the end of it, but it's incredibly repetitive and you might even end up finding it boring. <laughs> so skip ahead, do whatever you need to do. We're starting on our outermost right strand, which mine is my pink, but it'll be whatever your first strand in line is compared to your order here that you want to display. And firstly, I'm going to do a backward forward knot onto the strand to the left of it. And then I'm going to take the second strand in line and we're going to do backward knots across all of the strings to the left of it. So you might find pretty shortly into the video that I might start speeding these segments up a lot just because this pattern is so repetitive and honestly so simple. I can assure you, you will get tired of seeing all of these same knots as we work our way down. and then the string can kind of hang out off to the side. We're gonna come back to our outermost right strand again, which should still be your first color. And again, we're gonna do a backward forward knot onto the string to the left of it. And again, we're gonna take this second strand that we just knotted onto and we're gonna do backward knots across all of the strings to the left of it, but we're not knotting onto the previous strand that we knotted with, which is why I kind of have my orange strand hanging clear off to the side so that I don't accidentally knot onto it.
and then that string can also go off to the side and hang out with the other one. We're going to come back to the right side again, and yet again, we're going to do a backward forward knot onto the strand to the left of it. And then with the strand that we knotted onto, yet again, we are going to do backward knots across all of these strands to the left of it, leaving out these two previous strands. And again, move that string off to the side and then come back to your outermost right strand. Yet again, do a backward forward knot onto the strand to the left of it. And also again, take that strand that we knotted onto and do backward knots across all of the strings to the left of it. And then move that string off to the side with the rest. Come back to the outermost right side again. And yet again, <laughs> do a backward forward knot onto the string to the left of it. And then take the strand that we knotted onto and do backward knots across the rest of the strings to the left of it. And they will all be the black strands this time or whatever your background strands are. And now that we have just this final strand left on the right here, which is our first color, we're just gonna do backward knots across all of the strings to the left of it, which will also just be your background strands. And before we finish this section off, we need to bring our black strands over to the left side and make our sort of triangle section here. So the same thing applies to like my rainbow plaid bracelet, for example. You're just gonna take your newest outermost right strand and keep doing backward knots across all of the strings, put it off to the side, pick up the next one, backward knots until it's off to the side, and just keep doing that until you have reached your final two strands where you will only do one backward knot. So if that sounds confusing, don't worry, I am gonna walk you through this. So outermost right strand is going to do backward knots across five strings to the left of it. And then the next outermost right strand is going to do four backward knots across the rest of the background strands to the left of it. Now 
Next, outermost right strand, we'll do three backward knots. Next, outermost right strand does two backward knots. And then finally, next outermost right strand just does one backward knot. And that is part one of the video completed. Now, if you find that your edge is kind of trying to curve in like this, as long as you don't tie your knots too tight, you can just kind of hold your hand down on the bracelet and take this base strand and just kind of pull it towards the right. So that way you can pull it more straight down. It doesn't completely fix the curviness that can happen in this pattern, just like the rainbow plaid or any other of these sort of ribbon type patterns. But as you work on the bracelet and pull on the edges like that, it should kind of help it a little bit more. Now we are going to do everything we just did, but reverse it. So instead of all of our backward knots, we're gonna do forward knots. And with all of our backward forward knots, we're gonna do forward backward knots. So now we're gonna move over to the very left side of our bracelet with our outermost left strand. We are going to do a forward backward knot onto the string to the right of it. And then with this strand we just knotted onto, we are going to do forward knots across all of the rest of our strings to the right of it. And then that string just hangs out by itself off to the side there. Then we're gonna come back to our outermost left strand again and do a forward backward knot onto the strand to the right of it. And then with that strand we just knotted onto, we are going to do forward knots across the rest of the strings to the right of it, leaving out this previous strand that we just knotted with. And again, move that strand off to the side, come back to your outermost left strand again, and do a forward backward knot onto the string to the right of it. And take that strand that we just knotted onto and make forward knots across all the rest of the strings to the right of it, leaving out our previous strands. And again, move that strand off to the side, come back to your outermost left strand again, and do a forward backward knot onto the string to the right of it. And take the strand that we just knotted onto and do forward knots across the rest of the strands to the right of it.
put that strand off to the side, come back to your outermost left strand and do a forward backward knot onto the strand to the right of it. And then take that second strand in line and do forward knots across the rest of the strings to the right of it, which should all be background strands. Put it off to the side and now that we have our final color on the left side here we're just going to do forward knots across all of the background strands to the right of it so you should be making six forward knots And just like the other side, we now need to make forward knots with all of our black strands to get them over to the right side. So you'll take your outermost left strand and do five forward knots onto the strings to the right of it. the outermost left strand, you will now do four forward knots onto the strings to the right of it. Next outermost left strand, we'll do three forward knots. Next outermost left strand, we'll do two forward knots. And then finally, with your last two strands here, take your left strand and do one single forward knot. Hold down on your bracelet and take that base strand and pull down if you need to. But that is the whole set completed and that is what you're going to repeat all the way from beginning to now until you have your whole bracelet completed. Now, obviously you can see that your string order is going to continuously change until it repeats itself, but the knotting structure is never going to change. So if you need to follow the video again, from the beginning of the tutorial, I'll have chapters below and you can just go and click back to the tutorial start and just try to remember that I am describing the beginning of the pattern with the order of the strings. However, the knots are always going to be the same. So as long as you can separate that, you can follow the video very easily. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you enjoyed following along to this one right here. If you want to check out my video before this one, you can click on the left side or you might like this one on the right side. Thank you all again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.